On the night's episode of Tales from the Porch Swing, I got a news flash for a bunch of y'all walked outside today in the sky ain't falling, despite of what they've been telling you on the news and the internet, which a lot of y'all read and believe any kind of bullshit that's put on there. I'll tell you how this coronavirus mess is going. My buddy's daughter was sick. Uh, his wife took her to the doctor today. She had, uh, he told me, he said, I know she's got strep throat because she gets strep throat a lot, and that's how she's acting. So they took her to the doctor, they quarantined them, took her in there, looked at her, said, yeah, she's got strep throat, got pneumonia, and said, uh, we're just going to say that she's got COVID-19. And his wife said, well, are you going to test her? And he said, well, no, we don't have enough tests to test them. We'd only test people when they go to ICU, but we're going to go ahead and call it. So now you got everybody here in the county stirred up that there's a 19th case in a county of 47,000 people, and they don't know if she's got it or not. They ain't tested her. They're just saying that. How many other cases in the United States are like that? Here's the thing. They're using this as an excuse to take our rights from us. They're denying people the right to assemble. There was a bunch down in Raleigh protesting yesterday, and they had one arrest. They arrested one woman. And the rest of them, I guess they disbanded. That woman's my hero because she didn't bow down to them. She's not going to bow down to tyranny. The rest of y'all, I don't know. I don't know why y'all left. If you're going to protest, let's protest and do it right. If, if they ain't breaking out the water guns and the attack dogs and the pepper gas and the, the tear gas and the rubber bullets, then you ain't protesting, right? You're piss poor protesters. If you're going to protest, let's protest. It's time to raise hell you don't you don't give when it comes to your freedoms and your rights it's time to reopen north carolina the governor we got here ain't worth a shit i didn't vote for him of course i don't vote for democrats but that's just me and i'm not saying that i'm blindly republican i vote libertarian a lot matter of fact i voted libertarian in that last gubernatorial election but roy cooper ain't worth a shit and here's the thing that gets me he's got all the Barber shops and the, and the beauty salons closed down, but every time you see him, he's still got that same bad comb over, and his hair don't look like it's grown none. Maybe he's got a toupee. I don't know. I don't like him. I never did like him. I don't think he's worth a shit. Well, he ain't worth a shit in my book, Roy Cooper. You ain't. You're a you're a damn moron is what you are. The governor up there in uh, Michigan where she said that they couldn't buy seeds and plants to put in the garden. When they go to trying to control your food supply, you got issues. And these GMO seeds that go back to whatever they were hybridized off of, man, this ain't going to be good. We're free. We don't bow down to our government. Our government bows down to us. We are the bosses of the government. The government are not the bosses of us. I'm not going to lay here and take it. You may lay here and take it, but I ain't going to. Do I want to catch it? No. Am I afraid of catching it? No. Am I going to live my life in fear? No. Hell, you got a one in six chance of dying from a heart attack and a one in seven chance of dying from cancer. I probably got a little bit better chance of dying from a heart attack. I've already had one. And my dad died young from a heart attack and Everybody else on both sides of the family had pretty much had heart attacks, so I'd say that's probably what's going to take me out one of these days, hopefully later than sooner, but am I going to live my life in fear of a virus that's got a 98% recovery rate? Shit, no, I ain't. And none of y'all should either. If you're not healthy, then it ain't doing nothing that you don't need to be doing already because there's shit out there that they're just waiting to name that's floating around. This ain't the worst stuff out there that you could catch, I'm sure that there's way worse stuff than this. So you can't live your life in fear. And I'm not going to live my life in fear. I've been working like usual. Of course, they said that we were an essential business for automotive repair. But if I weren't an essential business, hell, I'd still be working like usual. Hell, I got bills to pay. Somebody called me one day and said something about being essential. And I said, hell, yeah. The bank called me and told me it was essential that I pay my bills or they're going to start coming and picking shit up. So, will I get a stimulus check? Man, probably not. Am I looking for government money? No. 
the way I see it, though, would I take it? Yeah, I'd take it because that's just money they've extorted from me in the name of income tax. They've just stole my money under threats of imprisonment and taking everything I got. It's time to it's time to change some shit up. It's y'all bowing down to the government and doing everything they say. It's driving me crazy. The American Revolution. I don't. If we had to have it, if it had to happen nowadays, I don't know if it would ever happen. People just ain't got it in them anymore. I mean, what happened to the days when, when you got pissed off at a politician, you drug him out and tarred and feathered him and hung him on or put him on a rail and carried him around town? That's what's wrong nowadays. People are. It's the pussification of America. I don't know, man. I just. It's time to reopen everything. It's time to reopen North Carolina. It's time to reopen the United States and put people back to work. If you're afraid to be out, then don't go out. I mean, hell, wash your hands. Keep a safe distance from other people. Don't get up in everybody's personal space and you'll be fine. But I ain't living my life like that. That's all I got to say for the night. It's time to piss on the farm and call the dogs I see on the